So, Randy and I both drew antelope tags in Wyoming this year and we're hunting at the same time but in different units. I party applied with my dad right here, <laughs> Brian Hockett, and uh, we have a unit a little north of where Randy's at and so we're going to hunt concurrently but separately. Randy and Michael are in a unit south of us and they're hunting right now. Our season starts tomorrow. So we we just rolled into the unit. We're doing a little scouting. Hopefully gonna find some bucks tonight. And he's gonna shoot a big one. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna shoot. We're a gonna let Marcus shoot the big one. I'm gonna shoot a small one. Yeah. No, I'm gonna shoot a goofy one. Yeah, we, we're about in the middle of our unit. We uh, we saw a fair number of antelope on the northern half, but uh, nothing real big. And then we kind of went over divide and didn't see a whole lot uh, there. So we're hoping to pick up a few more this evening on the south end. And it's really windy. <laughs> yeah. So I apologize if the dusty. audio is not great. But anyway, we're going to find them. Hopefully. Yep. We'll find some. All right, we're back in our humble abode. <laughs> his trailer <laughs> but we went in we we only covered a small portion of the unit probably yeah literally like we still have a lot to go, cover tomorrow but we saw some cool buffs they're all bigger than anything i've ever shot so yeah we said we saw <laughs> two two really nice bucks but they're uh they're rutting so yeah. they don't they, which is we don't get to do that hunt them during the rut really in montana with rifles anyway and it's uh they don't stay in one place very long, so it might be a might be a challenge to borrow. Yeah, uh, keep them sorted out. We've seen uh, more bucks than we're used to seeing. Yeah, it's kind so, of fun. Yeah, so we're gonna drive around and maybe we'll regret not shooting that one first thing. I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we're gonna look at some other country. Gotta gotta milk it a little bit. Can't just be done in one day. <laughs> Actually, we can be done in one day. That'd be alright. Yeah. All right. Well, we're gonna. Eat some food. Be up early tomorrow. So heading, heading west. Heading west. And put the sun behind us and hopefully look over a few more bucks. Sounds good. Yeah. Open the morning. First time hunting pronghorn in Wyoming. Should be fun. Looking forward to it. Elk are still bugling. They still? Yeah, I just heard one. And Marcus woke me up at two o'clock in the morning and said, did you hear that? And listen, and it was a faint elk bugle, so he decided to get up and called in a bull <laughs> right to the trailer in the middle of the night and had two, three other bulls <laughs> going crazy. Pretty wild out in the sagebrush. I see those elk bugling. I can see those elk. Oh, yeah. Way out there. Last night we had those elk bugling like crazy right around camp. And then we just start driving around and we've seen a couple of antelope, but there's elk everywhere. <laughs> Well, maybe not everywhere, but there's quite a few bugling bulls. So cool. This place is incredible. We saw a couple mule deer. We're just getting distracted here, but we should probably go try to find some antelope. It's just beautiful country, though. It's super cool. But we're just going to kind of keep driving around. There's roads everywhere, so not much point to hiking. So we're just going to kind of drive around, look, see what we see. Look at elk. <laughs> Hopefully find some antelope.
How do I move this thing, Marcus? What's that? Does this just, does it move? Yeah. I can't see anything. I don't see him. Is that him with his head down? I got him. He said, "Is that down, Pawn?" Uh, yeah. You in there? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go. Huh? Oh, oh. There he goes. The middle of the road was a I what I think is a giant antelope I don't know if it's a giant antelope or not but it's one I'm definitely gonna shoot and uh, he's trying to make me shoot first my dad's trying to make me shoot first so I'm not gonna argue too much on this one <laughs> it's a big one but they're rutting like him and another buck and a doe are rutting and running around like crazy and so they're like 600 yards over here now but we're gonna go chase after him see if we can get a shot Oh. <laughs> see what happens he's gonna we're gonna try to dual wield cameras and guns and we'll figure it out <laughs> all right let's go look at that i got a gun caddy <laughs> where we last saw that buck disappear he wasn't there but <laughs> when we were at the truck I was just messing around too long just taking my time not <laughs> not in kill mode but I just looked at the footage and I think I should have been in kill mode <laughs> buck looks like a real nice buck but oh well <laughs> yeah I'm kind of new to this whole you know video thing but I think I had enough time to make another cup of coffee in the time it's taking you to get uh, ready. Uh -huh. I was watching him in the uh -huh. viewfinder. Oh I had yeah I'd he's hooking that rabbit brush. <laughs> messing with the shooting rask just taking my time but now we're serious. We're gonna we're gonna actually go kill something now. Now we're not in just we were kind of just driving around in the wildlife preserve today <laughs> seeing elk and mule deer and chipmunks and antelope and then all of a sudden like oh that looks like a big one <laughs> maybe we should maybe we should shoot that one <laughs> this was not in kill mode but i think i'm there now i think i think we're ready to like we're gonna make this happen so sounds we're good. serious now <laughs> sounds let's, good let's go let's go find him okay <laughs> okay My dad thinks he spotted the buck across the way, about a little less than a mile from where we lost him. But we're gonna go peek up there, see if it's him. If it is, I'll try to actually shoot it this time instead of just let it run around for a little bit. Let's see, let's go yeah, over there. I'll let you know when I got him in. Okay. In the frame. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Buck in it, but I think 
and uh, at least I can tell in the viewfinder of the camera there's a bigger buck in the back group. So we're gonna circle around and try to get on those ones and see if it's that same one from this morning or if it's a shooter buck, so. I don't think it's him, or it's not a big. made it up here, circled around the second group, and there are just small bucks in there too. Nothing against small bucks, but we had basically six or seven years to draw these tags, so kind of fun to try to get something a little bigger. But it was really cool that we, after these ones spooked off, they ran over to another group and there's two bucks that started fighting, so that was pretty cool to watch. They're going after it for a second. And all the does left, and I think they realized all their does left. <laughs> they just took off running. But we're gonna go back to that truck and try to go find some more, or a different one, or maybe the same one. Who knows? What do you think? <laughs> well, it was fun. Wrong buck, but <laughs> it's a good walk. He's around here somewhere. Somewhere? Yeah, I'm sure there's some more too. So. We didn't film a whole lot the second half of the day because we were just driving around covering ground looking for anything and everything. We saw a lot of a lot of antelope. And then right at last light, we didn't film it, but we may have found that big buck that I was just playing with this morning and didn't feel like shooting apparently. <laughs> Maybe we found him. We're not positive. It looked like a big buck, but we just kind of kept driving, didn't want to spook him. so. End of shooting light right about now. We're gonna head back, eat some food, and then be back here at first light. First light, yeah. Yeah. And uh, since Marcus didn't get a pronghorn today, no fresh backstrap or tenderloin, might have to eat a uh, freeze dried meal. <laughs> Yum. 